Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm going to do a little quarantine painting inspiration. Feel free to paint alongside me. This is an acrylic painting and I can't wait to hear what you think of the result at the end. Okay, this first layer is pretty simple. All I did was mix black with a little bit of white, creating kind of a really dark gray, kind of like the color of a chalkboard would be. Um, and I just did a wash over the entire um, canvas, or you could use paper. I just happen to have these flat canvases, so that's what I'm doing on, but paper would be fine too. I made sure to cover the edges in case I don't have a frame to put around it. So I'm gonna let that dry, and then we'll move on to the next step. So now all I did was just take some standard red, and I put water on my brush and dabbed it off just a little bit, because I want this layer to be a little bit transparent. I flipped my canvas to be vertical, and I just did three little dots basically for strawberries. So this is gonna be a full-size strawberry and two little baby ones. And we're gonna add more colors into this in a second. Okay, next step are leaves. So this is gonna be super rudimentary looking at first. It's just gonna be blocking out color on top of a black background. And then we'll go back in a minute and start adding in details, but you're just gonna basically block in your colors. And this helps you plan out the space for your painting. And I'm going off of a really detailed painting that I found on Pinterest, but we're gonna funk it up a little bit and make it more cute and not so serious. Cause we all need a little bit of cute in our lives right now, am I right? I'm right. <laughs> so now I've just taken some white paint and drawn in the base shape of what's gonna be some little flowers. And I did, you know, one hidden behind the leaves down here. Next up, I'm gonna mix together a little bit of white with just a dot of red for a really, really light pink. So now I've painted in some highlights. They're gonna look real blocky and funny at first, but basically all I did is take that really light pink, watered it down a little bit, and did kind of a light, and always be sure to make your light source come from one side, not both sides. It's gonna make it look more natural if it's coming from one side, because that's how it occurs in nature. And then I took my paper towel that I'm using to blot my, um, my paintbrush with, and I just dabbed off the excess so it makes it a little bit more transparent. Next up, done. Now, I'm gonna take red, put it in a different little well, just a brush full of red. Wait, where's the camera? Huh, red? I'm gonna put it in one of these wells and I'm gonna do a dot of black to make a dark red, like a crimson color. Like this. Really dark red. And I'm gonna go through on the edges and make shadow. Okay, so as you can see, I went on the opposite side of where the highlight is. It might be kind of hard to see in this, but I did dark right around the edge, just on the opposite side, and I left the middle just blank for now, because we're gonna go back with bright red here in a second and go over that. We just wanna let this dry a little bit first. Okie dokie. So now we're gonna take green and black, and I'm gonna make a dark green. So basically, you just need these little wells, or I mean, paper plate, whatever. So wash out your brush really well, blot it off and take some green and put it in a well. If you can see what I'm doing. And you're literally just gonna take like a dot of black, just the tip of your brush and mix it in. And looky there, dark green. 
You don't need a thousand bottles of paint to be able to paint. It's actually better to mix your own colors. So really all you need is black, white, yellow, red, and blue. And then you can make whatever color you want. So I'm gonna take this dark green and I'm gonna start drawing in details on my leaves. You can see here, I'm basically, you know how the edges of strawberry leaves, if you've ever seen a strawberry leaf, they're pokey on the edge. So I'm basically just going around the edge and then up the middle with this darker green. And I'm leaving that bright green in the background because I'm gonna use it as a highlight whenever I go back to do the little tiny details. Alrighty, so now you can see I've made the little pokey edges on my leaves. They're starting to get a little bit more realistic and detailed. Kind of fun. Next up, we're gonna work on perfecting our strawberries. So I'm just gonna take some regular old bright red in this bottom corner straight out of the tube. I'm gonna clean out my brush. And then I'm gonna get some water on my brush and water down the red just a little bit to kill the opacity a little bit. So you may not even be able to see what I did in this video, but basically I just took the bright red and went straight up the middle of the strawberry, kind of in a eyeball, or not an eyeball shape, like a oval, an oval shape. Yeah, that's kind of an eyeball shape. So I just did that kind of in the middle to add some highlight. Now I'm gonna really water down the red, like kind of a lot, and go back over this area that I did the bright highlight. I'm also gonna take this watered down red and begin the circle or the middle part of the flower. So that's all I did to start the middle. I basically just made some little dots, nothing perfect. And you can see how I went over the highlight and it's still showing through the back, which is cool. That's the cool thing about acrylic. So you can layer, you can water them down and if you make a mistake, just cover it up the paint, no big deal. So now what I've done is taken just a little bit of yellow, just plain old yellow. And I put got my brush wet and put it into the dark green that I created a minute ago. So just water it down just a little bit just to make your paint go a little bit further. And you kind of have like a yellow green color. And we're gonna use that for the highlights on the leaves. All right, so now you can see that brighter yellow green kind of adds some dimension to the leaves. And I tried to leave a little down the middle where the um, the veins of the leaf will go. You can see that. So you're just basically adding dimension, layer on top of layer on top of layer, until you get the look that you really are trying to achieve. So next we're going to work on the strawberries. Okay, so now we're doing details on the strawberry. I did the first one already just to test it out to see if I could make it look right. And now I'll explain how I do it. So I took my skinny little brush that I've pretty much been using this whole time. And I took some just plain yellow and barely dipped my brush in it without watering it down. And then just little dots everywhere. And then I took my paper towel and smashed over the top to kind of spread out the paint. And then I took a little bit of pink and a little bit of white with the yellow still on my brush and mixed it with some water and went around just to make highlights in this one area and kind of moved it around with my finger a little bit. So I'll do it on the next one and show you how I do it and um, you can just go 
ですね Gonna go around where it's highlighted. I'm basically, just going around the seeds, and then I use just my finger and smash down around it, and then I kind of go over it again. And I actually like the way that looks, so I'm gonna leave it. little sparkle and on to the next one so this bottom one I just want to look kind of like it's not ripe yet so I didn't put as many highlights and more so just grayed out or pinked out <laughs> the bottom area next up strawberry tops I've added in a little bit of detail to the tops. I basically just took a yellow, um, mixed it with a little bit of light green, and went over with a little bit of watered down paint on the strawberry tops. And then I took a little bit of bright white and went around the edges of the strawberry, I mean, of the flower. And then I took some black and just got my brush really dry and made it as pointy as I could and just did little teeny tiny dots for the stamen in the flowers. So next up, I'm gonna do veining detail in the leaves, and then we'll go back to the tops of the strawberries once they're dry. Okay, so now you see I've added some veining to the leaves, and we're gonna go back and add low lights to this, or some shadows. Other added level of dimension leaves. I basically just went through with a darker watered down green and went around where I did all the veining in the leaves and didn't totally fill in, just kind of outlined a little bit. As you can see, it makes them look a lot more realistic. So now we'll work on the strawberry tops. Okay, so first I made a little bit of a darker green wash and went over the top, just kind of stripy. And then I did a lighter version over the top and I'm gonna let that dry and then I go back with a darker gray and really fill in the details on it. Gone back in and added another layer of shadow into the leaves. Just a darker green. And now I'm going to work on the strawberry tops because they're pretty much dry. Alrighty, I think I'm going to call that done. So basically, as you can see, painting with acrylics is basically just layering and layering and layering and layering. And if you make a mistake, you just cover it up. And you can see here, I have a little bit of a smudge on my black canvas. So I'll just, once this all dries really well, I'll go back over and just paint over that and just clean it up and make it look a little bit better. 
But yeah, I've basically been working on this on and off all day. I have a good little trick. If you're wanting it to dry faster, just use your hair dryer. You probably could figure that out on your own, but you know, if you're in a hurry, dry with your hair dryer. You can also go back later with a fine tilt, fine tip felt pen and detail this with little outlines if you want to, but I think I'm just gonna leave mine kind of rough and rustic looking like this. I also did this random looking little lemon. It's a little bit more abstract, not as realistic. This is a lot more realistic, but I did this a couple days ago. And yeah, good ways to pass the time when you're trapped in the house. I'm sorry, I look scary. This is what happens when you lay around all day. All right, um, so that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, let me know in the comments what you think. Hopefully this gives you some inspiration on some stuff to do while you're stuck home, bored. Um, again, you don't need canvases to do this. You could do this just on paper. Um, I've just basically covered my table with brown craft paper. You can tear apart a paper bag and do the same thing. And all you really need is brushes, water, something to paint on and some paints. And there you have it. I'll try and link a few of these things below so you can order them on Amazon. And um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you next time. Bye.